What's up everybody, it's Shuflaka back at again with another Madden YouTube and today we have a top 10 and it's going to be on the cornerback position, a position that is get, definitely getting better. We have, I think, three new cards or four new cards that have made this top 10 that were not previously in it. Actually, no, it's five. I just forgot about another one. This list is definitely getting much better and wide receiver is not slowing down anytime soon. As many of you guys know, we just got a 99 Devontae Adams, six foot one route runner, a 99 speed on any single theme team. Don't even got to power him up because he gets every theme team anyways when you're not even powering him up and then you got guys like Randy Moss who's coming out tomorrow and Cooper it's it's ridiculous we need the corners I still don't think kind of stack up as well but I am super excited to get you guys this list I know a lot of people have been asking for this one and let's get right into it number 10 we do have Aaron Glenn you'll notice this is a much much shorter card than you would like to have out there on the field right at five foot nine and that is why he is so low on this list right he is good at everything besides being tall which is kind of an un unchangeable right but he is 99 speed on any theme team he's gonna have good agility good excel for you really solid jumping to he has 97 man 96 zone and 97 play uh press right here so this is a card that i've actually got to use a lot so i i have been playing a squads a little bit lately on stream and the guy i play with typically is one of my mods he actually has a jaguar same team and he has aaron glenn in the slot and he's actually been very solid i'm not gonna lie obviously you'll notice it sometimes where a ball flies over your head or you know what i mean so there's sometimes there's sometimes 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 you'll notice it but he actually makes plays that i never thought somebody his size would he's actually been very very good and it's a card that i've been sleeping on i'm gonna start showing box stats i know a lot of people want to see this stuff 72 tackling 72 power and an 81 block shed too an 81 block shed from a corner is amazing it's really really good there i think there's only one guy on the list that's gonna have above a 90 block shed for you guys there but yeah he, he's a good card i would only only play him in the slot though that's it Number nine, we actually have the out of position Stefan Diggs. There's going to be a lot of backyard ballers who I don't think any of them were on the list the last time we did it. That's how long it's been. All It's been like, what, two and a half, almost three weeks now since the last time we did corners. I had to get it updated. Once like five or six new players make the list, I got to get the new list going. But he's going to be a guy that's not going to get 99 speed for you here. He's only going to have 98, but he does come with acrobat and bench press uh, built in. So if you're on current gen, I do make these lists on next gen. I think this card is much better for you because bench press actually works a little bit. I've not noticed bench press to really do much at all on next gen. It, it, like I've pressed out of dollar, out of even three through five wide, they've come out and blitzed or uh, pressed on some of my plays. And it really does not work like it did last year on next gen. I feel like a lot of abilities aren't as they don't really transfer as good from next gen to current gen if that makes sense but 96 man and 95 zone and coming in with built acrobat and i think bench press does get a little bit of value out of it sometimes sometimes on next gen to where i can carry him this high on the list he does make some plays out there i do think backyard ballers also is a good 25 theme team to make you'll notice there's a lot of guys that hit 98 speed and all they need is that plus one so a lot of these guys are very very good on a 25 theme team and yeah, Diggs is a beast, man. He really is a good card. At number eight, we do have Tiki Barber. This is another one of those cards that have been absolutely amazing for me, despite his height being very, very short. I'm starting to feel like height doesn't matter as much if you're playing in them in the slot or near the box. Obviously, you'll notice if you got like Randy Moss chucking it up down deep, Calvin Johnson, Colin Johnson as well, all those guys down there that are all six foot five or six foot four plus down there. 97 speed on him, so he's gonna get 99 speed on any theme team, which is really nice. 99 or if if you have strat cards he should have 99 zone for you right there the thing i like about him is that under pressure if you run any sort of blitzing db scheme so dollar is the best for that right you have the db fire where it sends two corners under pressure can cause a lot of turnovers a lot of balls like it could be a wide open route and they can cause the under pressure and he could throw a pick on a wide open route that's how good this ability is it's a very bailout ability that's why i like it on him and you're like i said this is a very valuable card if you are running any sort of cornerback blitzes and like i said I, i've noticed height it's it's taken me all year to realize i've tried testing out more corners to see and i don't know man tiki like the height I won't, like I said, I wouldn't play him in the deep thirds or deep halves or even the deep quarters. I would play him only in like the purples or the like the hard flats. 
But yeah, I don't know the height. The, I don't know. The little guys have been balling for me lately. For seven, we do have Marshawn Lattimore. This is another very, very good corner. He's going to be six foot and he's going to hit that 99 speed on all of your theme teams, no matter which team you're on. This is the powered up edition. As you guys can tell, it's the LTD Legend Edition. But if you power him up, he's going to have 97 speed than the two strat cards. I know some people don't have strat cards, but I assume most people do. It is March now in the game. You do get two strat cards per day for free, which is definitely definitely helps towards it i remember in the beginning there you only got one per day for free which was definitely definitely tough but now it's much much easier to get 97 man though 97 zone very very good all-around card like i said this is a car that's been in the game for a while as well he's also one of the ones that i think is better in the box 81 tackling 88 hit power and in a 79 block shit which is solid like i said we want 80 there but it definitely is much much better than a lot of guys on this list for six we do have Deion sanders so you might be wondering why he is so much lower Lower on this list than all these guys so you'll notice all the guys on this list get 99 speed or they're overwhelmingly tall right he is six foot so it's solid high he's gonna get 99 speed so basically once you get to the spot in the game you're really testing for like the intangibles like inside the box your height everything so basically everybody on this list is gonna have really high man really high zone and also good speed the thing about Dion that's really a negative I'll, he always has low press which we all know if you ever see Dion pressing throw the damn streak most of the time i'd say like eight out of ten times but if you look at his car too 64 hit power 57 block shed and 72 tackling so like i said the intangibles like all the guys above him on this list are hitting 99 speed besides one guy and that guy is overwhelmingly tall overwhelmingly tall right but you'll look at like Dion, very very good card still a very good card no negative i'm just saying because i know there's going to be a lot of people saying why is it Dion? i know he gets that plus one but if you're buying the card right now you're not going to be getting that plus one and to man in zone anymore it, that's not available anymore so Dion, very good card, like I said, but if you're like with Derrick Henry's running around, all these big dudes running around, you got uh who else? Micah Parsons, almost everybody. I swear I see that's the most card I've seen in the game right now. It, it, and having this much of tackling, it's tough. It's definitely tough. Number five, we do have Byron Jones. So you'll notice right here that he has 95 speed, but you can tell he is that combine. You can see right there, it says plus two speed on him. You can't get that plus two speed until you actually bought the card. So meaning he is 97 base speed meaning you don't even have to power him up to get 99 speed when you buy this card it is crazy byron jones i would definitely still power him up so you can get that man and zone higher but he's another he's a bigger corner 205 pounds he is six foot he is 96 zone 93 man really solid press at 94 will be a 95 when powered up and the agility and excel definitely do match that another guy who's not the best in the box he has 57 block shed but at least he has a little bit better tackling at 77 which will definitely help i think him and Dion are very similar i think he just weighs a little bit more so help when it comes in the box play or i don't know stretches is whatever powers when they get to the outside uh, he's just an all-around good card very very similar card here it sucks i still even have to do this but if you guys do not know if you could look up here in the top right uh this card on xbox has not been available for like a month now since he's came out i don't know the exact date he came out but i think he was available for like the first two three days and then somebody bought all the cards on the auction i think there was like eight or nine of them and posted them all for i think 100 coins right and what you know that does it sets the price median with their new stupid system and it made the price like you can only sell this card max on xbox right now at 100 coins look the last time this card sold on xbox was january 30th and it's like i said somebody bought all of them out at 600k and sold them all for 100 and look at this nowhere actually it's been a long time i didn't realize it was all the way january 30th that was a long time ago i mean wow i mean it's crazy this card like i said it's still very it's still available on pc and also playstation but at the end of the day it really does suck that it's very uh let me get a pass that let me get past that this is a guy that's gonna get 98 speed on your theme team right he's gonna be 98 speed but he is one of the taller guys six foot two so very very good height on him 97 excel which definitely makes up for that lack in speed right there he's gonna have really good zone which all that really matters on next next gen i know some people run man but man is still very unreliable i think unless you're i've only seen a couple really good man players a couple a couple and i've seen a lot play it but 95 man when powered up still hits that threshold which we love to see not the best in the box he has 77 tackling not the best block shutter power but a very very tall corner that will make a lot of plays it's for you 
just sucks he's not available and sucks that it's been months or yeah basically almost two months now and this card has still not been fixed it's actually kind of crazy and number three we do got our guy randy moss so you might be wondering why he is not higher on this list i really think okay on current gen these abilities might be better but at the end of the day i feel like in an offensive madden and next gen which it's a very very offensive madden right you want your all of your 18 ability points to work on all every single play right no no matter what you do, you cannot get both of his AP points to work on every single play because one is a man ability that only works on man coverage. One is a zone ability that only works on zone coverage. So you're wasting an AP every single play of the game. And also, if you want to add an acrobat, which is probably arguably the best defense ability in the game, it's a very bailout ability. You're going to be spending four AP on a defender, which is ridiculous right now. You do not like three AP feels like a lot spending on a defender right now, but like I said, he's still the intangibles of this card being six foot four. If this was on a normal card that was like six foot and he had 99 speed, this card would be like eight or nine because how bad the abilities are, right? But since it's Randy Moss, he is six foot four. He's going to get 99 speed on your team. He's still going to make a like plays for you. He's definitely going to make plays for you. I've noticed I would only play him in the deep thirds. I did have him in the slot trying to play some jumping routes, meaning like on the flats, I'd like want him to go jump some plays. But I don't know that 91 play rec definitely felt like it was lackluster on a lot of jumping rounds so i really would just play him in deep thirds for jump balls high balls whatever you want down in the deep side of the field where he could just run in his play rec at 91 won't matter too much but 99 or 98 man in 97 zone is definitely like insane like i said if you even want to just throw pick artists you'll still be missing acrobat which is one of the best abilities in the game and you're always going to be wasting one AP if you have this card activated. It really does suck. There, like I, I've seen a guy comment on our one video. You could just mix up the plays, right? But you're still wasting an AP in an offensive Madden. In an offensive Madden, yes, you need all of your AP. You could use that on another pick artist. You could use that other AP on another unpredictable to get some pressure. It really sucks you're wasting it, but at the end of the day, it's still Randy Moss. He's got to be in the top three. Number two, we do have Night Train Lane. I like. I, I think all these three guys are very interchangeable. Although I do think, when I think Randy Moss and Night Train Lane are very interchangeable. I think Randy Moss could easily be number one as well. I think EA knows what they did with their abilities. They did that on purpose, so he's not a broken card, and you're not gonna have to upgrade on that card for the rest of the year. They know what they're doing when they put those terrible abilities on him. But moving on to Night Train Lane at our number two, we do got 96 speed on him. We're gonna get 99 speed on any theme team he is six foot one so very very good high i think six foot one and above is something we always prioritize especially like i said we just got we have so many good receivers in the game right now that are 99 speed that are six foot one and above but 97 man on him 96 zone he has really good agility for you there too the one thing that's really good about this card right 74 tackling 95 hit power the one i want to see the most is block shed though because that's the one that really matters hit power is cool right it's a cool looking stat it's a flashy stat but block shed is the one you really want to see Obviously, if you're tangled up with the wide receiver, you want to be able to block shed that and then go get the tackle, which obviously 82 is still very, very good. It's just kind of I'm kind of showing you guys that now. So when we compare him to the next guy, but yeah, Night Train Lane, definitely number two number one so in our previous top 10 i did a top 10 best card i did have uh randy moss above woodson and after playing for them with the wild because like i said randy moss was brand new in the game when i first made that list and i've got to play with them for a couple days now i still do think charles woodson does take his throne back i do think he is still the best card in the game you get pick artist and acrobat for three ap which is all you really need i'd rather have that than the discounted two ap that randy moss has but six foot one on him right and you're looking at it, even comparing him to a guy like night train lane right they're both gonna have really got good man zone same height basically almost the same weight right there and then look at him in the box right so he has worse power he's gonna still hit that threshold of 90 but he doesn't have that 95 power but he's also does like he has 90 block shed 90 block shed is a corner and night train lane is amazing in the block shedding category at 82 he has 90 90 block shed with 90 hit power charles woodson is definitely the number one corner in the game he could do it all for you literally insane he doesn't have to have those terrible man and zone abilities that randy moss has on him i don't know why i'm just so disappointed what they did to randy moss he really should be the best corner by far in this game but yeah woodson if we're looking at pure corner he's definitely number one i appreciate you guys so so much sorry for my little rant there at the end on the randy moss card like i said i am very very disappointed on what they did to the abilities and after i've tried to force him in with more ap i've tried to force him in different positions i just i don't know he just doesn't really fit the scheme it's really tough to have him out there at this time even with the height but at the end of the day i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to let me know which cornerbacks are you rocking on your team are you rocking three four whatever you're running let me know and i hope to see you guys in the next one we got randy moss gameplay tomorrow have those noties on boys peace out